All right, what's up friends? It's Harrison here, and today we're gonna to be talking about top surgery. So I am officially one month post-op. I went to Dr. Garamoni in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I had my surgery on July 3rd, 2018. So now it's August 7th, so I'm a couple days late, but I thought that it would be a great opportunity for me to talk to you guys today about how my recovery's been going. And yeah, so anyways, we're just gonna jump right in. So everything looks looks pretty good. I have two nipples. I have decently straight uh, scars and I feel so comfortable um, in my skin. I've been able to start to wear t-shirts. I have been able to just walk around my house topless and it's felt so, so good. I can't really explain how great it feels to just look in the mirror and see somebody that I feel like reflects my who I am on the inside now. So that's been a really cool experience to have that. But recovery wasn't 100% smooth. Um, I'm not sure how many people ever get to 100% smooth, but the majority of the videos that I've watched of guys and their transition, it's been relatively smooth. Like all they need to do is just put on their scar guard and they're fine. But I had like a little snag and it's kind of, it kind of bummed me out for a little bit and I wanted to talk about that. So I had a lot of swelling and bruising on this side. So I'll go closer. I'll do some more close-ups and stuff with my better lens. All right, so I'm on my better lens and I have my light right on me. <laughs> I feel like I'm at like the dentist or I'm about to get surgery again because uh, it's so bright. Uh, sorry, I'm probably shaking too. But I wanted to get um, some really good shots of the scars. They have scar, their scar guard on, so that's why they look a little bit like shiny. Yeah, so it's one week. You can't expect everything to heal like that. It's not gonna, your scars aren't gonna go away in one month. It's gonna take like honestly a year for everything to kind of fade into what it should. So yeah, so here is my chest. So here is the good side of the scars. So they go like they're purple, like there's a little bit of like bandage residue. This is red because there was a bandage there, bandage there. It kinda looks like the Canadian flag. <laughs> Um, and then there's the nipple, that's what the nipple looks like. Uh, but yeah, so everything looks pretty good, I think. And then here's the bad side. So you can see like there's still some bruising on this side. I didn't really realize, I guess it's all under here and I can't really see that area. But yeah, so this is the bandage again. There's the nipple and here's the scarring. So it's like a little bit thicker. Here, there was a red mark that came. So I didn't put any scar guard on there. So that's why it's a little bit like, looks a little bit more indented. But yeah, there's some swelling still here. So that's why it's a little bit more puckered. But yeah, so that's my chest. I think everything looks great for one month. But this scar here is a little thicker than this because this side had a lot of swelling and a lot of bruising. So the swelling was like right underneath the it was here and like underneath the incision line, so it made my it made my like skin kind of like bubble up a bit. And when I would touch it, it would like I could touch one side and it would like ripple. It would have like a ripple effect because there was so much fluid underneath. The swelling went down um, last week, I'd like to say. So I feel like I'm just starting to kind of really be able to recover in the way that I wanted to. Um, so I did like a lot of research on scar guard on different scar treatments, like massages, bio oil, and stuff like that, but I couldn't do any of that because of the swelling and because the scar was so fragile. So that kind of sucked because I was like, oh man, like two weeks right after post-surgery, I'm gonna start everything. I'm gonna be so diligent. I'm gonna be so aggressive with everything to make sure that my scars look the best way that they can. And I couldn't with this side. I really could only, like I, I've been wearing the scar guard for maybe a week or two now, um, but I couldn't start right away, I missed a week. And I don't know how much that will affect my recovery, but it is what it is. And I was I was really upset about it before, but now I'm just kind of like, you know what? My chest is flat. So what if my scars are like a little bit thick? Like, it doesn't matter. Like all the stuff that you thought would matter so much before you went in to get surgery, you're like, oh my God, the nipples have to be exactly right. They have to be exactly the right shape. The scars have to be so thin, they have to be so straight. But once you're out of surgery, and once you've like gone through the hardships of the six day recovery with the bandages or whatever your surgeon has you do, you just appreciate everything so much more. It doesn't matter if they're not exactly perfect. 
and I feel very thankful for the chest that I'm in, that I had very minimal complications and that I survived surgery, you know? You have to kind of like put things into perspective and this month really helped me put things into perspective. So yeah, this scar is like a little bit thicker. Uh, I have scar guard on, so there's why there's like a little bit of flakes. And they've gotten a little bit thicker, like right here, the scar guard always kind of comes off. I don't know if that's like a movement thing and I feel like the scar is a little bit thicker right at that point. It's not that bad really, it's, it's just like probably like a few centimeters on each side. So it's not really anything too noticeable. Let's backtrack. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. Okay, so the first week of recovery, you have the bandage on, it sucks. I hate it, like you just like, you can't move, you can't do anything. Um, the second week, when you have everything off, you just feel kind of fragile and you don't really want to mess anything up. Like you have to do the nipple dressings. Um, I had to put like a square sheet here, a bandage over top, Neosporin. I had to, my, my things had, had the white um, strips over my scars. Everything was just like really like mangled up, like Frankenstein and mummified kind of stuff. And it's a little alarming if you've never seen your body like that before. Like I had never had surgery before, I'd never had a stitch before, so this was all very new for me. And I felt very like fragile and like I didn't want to do anything. And it was, uh, it was, I was nervous, I was nervous about the whole thing. Yeah, I felt pretty fragile for the whole time that I had to wear the ACE bandage, so two weeks after. So basically for the first three weeks of surgery, you just feel very, very nervous. <laughs> That's what I did. Um, but as soon as I could stop wearing the ace bandage, like the first couple days where I didn't have the ace bandage, I felt very vulnerable because I didn't have anything protecting anything. Like a, I'm used to having the, the bandage cover everything. And if anything hit it or if anything, like if I were wearing a seatbelt or anything like that, like uh, I felt protected. And once I took that off, it just felt very odd. I got used to it after like a couple days of not having anything on there except for like bandages. I had a, I had a snag. Um, when I was taking off the white strips, um, uh, it started this side because uh, the skin is so fragile, it's so stretched because of the, the, the swelling. When I was taking off the white strips, because you have to take that off a week after your post-op appointment, when I was taking it off, it started to bleed. Like uh, something happened, like it was, it was, it wasn't like blood blood, it was like old blood mixed with like some sort of other fluid. So it was like brownish kind of color, but it was bleeding a lot. Like there was a lot of stuff that was coming out because that, that side was so swollen. So it, something had to leak out of it. And that scared me a little bit. Like I called Dr. Graham honey and I was like, hey, like <laughs> I'm bleeding everywhere. <laughs> and he just like said like, oh, okay, that's just your swell. I sent him pictures and stuff. And he said, that's just like the swelling and, that's just, and just like, if you can put the white strip back on and just carry on with what you're doing. It'll stop eventually. Just make sure you have the compression on it. So I had, I, I was really nervous to take the white thing off. Again, I was nervous to try. That made me like really nervous about everything. Just having that blood happen, it was, it was quite alarming. So I didn't want to mess with it. I didn't want to even worry about if I could put the scar treatment on because I was taking this, this off so I could put the scar stuff on. But then that made me have like a scab I had a couple scabs um, on that, so I couldn't do anything with this side. This side was totally fine. I didn't want to put scar stuff on one side and not on the other. I just didn't want them to be like crazy uneven, you know? So I just didn't do anything with either side. I just waited until this side was healed. So once the scabs fell off, I started to put the scar guard on. This is what I've been using. This is the scar guard. I got that at Dr. Garamoni's office, scar guard uh, gold. It's kind of cool. Like it's like nail polish. It dries really quickly, uh, but my only thing is that it kind of comes up here and I don't know why. Everywhere else it's pretty much stable, but um, it's fine. You just like take it, you, you apply it once in the morning and once at night and then you just kind of peel it off and put on a new layer. I waited until the scabs fell off and then I could put the scar guard on. So I've been putting the scar guard on ever since. My nipples, you do nipple dressings for um, three weeks, which is the, Zor the I don't know what it's called, but it's like the white, it's like the yellow strip that you cut up and then you put Neosporin on and a bandaid over top. So that's like, that's your nipple dressing and you do that for three weeks after your post-op, after your post-op appointment. So I could, I stopped doing that last week. It said in the package that Dr. Garamoni gave me that the nipple should be completely healed by then. I have watched so many guys' videos and I always see sc a scabbing. I always see it scab over and then like once it's, once the scab peels off, then it's like your nipple, I guess. But I didn't have any scabbing. I still haven't had any scabbing and it's, 
been pretty much the same kind of feel for the whole time. I just never scabbed. And that kind of made me like uncomfortable, like made me a little bit nervous because I'd never seen anybody not scab. And I had a couple of the stitches left over. So I sent Dr. Garamoni another round of pictures of my nipples and asked him if I could stop with the dressings, if everything looked good. And he said that my nipples looked good. I stopped, I could stop the dressings and just wear dry band-aids over top if I feel like they're rubbing, which I do when I go out for a long period of time. Like if I'm going out for the day, I'll just put on some band-aids. I don't know, I just feel very fragile. Again, like you just, you're just nervous about any, everything, right? Like you just wanna do everything perfectly. You don't wanna hurt yourself. So um, you kind of second guess yourself, at least I did. Um, but anyway, so I sent a picture of the nipples and I guess I had like pictures of like the whole thing, like the whole scar thing. And Dr. Garamoni called me and said that the nipples looked good but it looked like my right side might, like my right side scar might be opening, which I was, I don't know what that means. Like I, he, he talked to me through the receptionist and the receptionist called me and talked to me because I guess it was one of his days with surgery. He said that I just can't exercise. I have to not exercise, which I wouldn't anyway because I can't for six weeks and just not sweat or something. But he said it was at risk of opening, which I'm not sure what that means. Like, I don't know, is it gonna split? So that scared me a little bit. I got that call last week, um, but at least the nipples are good. I don't know. It just feels like the skin on the scar is fragile because of the swelling, like I said before, but the swelling just recently went down. So I'm hoping that the skin will start to like toughen up. Like that's all I can do, right? So I just like keep in my mind, like, yeah, it sucks that I had like a little bit of, of a snag in like my scar treatment and that I missed a week and that it's the, the swelling was right on the incision so it's made it thicker. But all that stuff is out of my control and I can't worry about something that I can't control. So I mean, that's kind of given me a good lesson to learn. It's just like follow the instructions, do everything that I can and it'll heal how it's supposed to heal. I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm happy with the way it looks. I think it looks great. Like, I think everything's pretty much like this. It's not completely symmetrical, which is fine. Like in the human body, like a natural born male might not necessarily have even nipples or anything like that. Like not everything's perfect. Um, and there's room for human error when, when you have a surgery. So there's like, a, this one's like goes a little bit lower. Um, this nipple is a little bit more like an oval instead of like a circle like this one, but it's fine. I don't really care about it. Like I think it looks great and it's really brought up some muscles. So that's really cool to see um, because I couldn't see that before. But um, yeah, so one month is a journey. The first month is a really big journey. You're gonna probably go through a lot of changes. Like I couldn't get out of bed for like the first two weeks without somebody helping me. And now I can move, now I have mobility. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to move a lot. Like I'm babying myself. Like I would say like, that's probably as far as I would like to go. And that's probably as far as I would like to go. But overall, like it's doing well. The only thing that actually like hurts or is like uncomfortable is right here. Right here is the only place that I feel any pain at all, like to the touch. And it's not like, it's not excruciating, like right there, right where the incision starts under the armpit. I don't know why it just, uh, there's like a little bit of, um, soreness when I touch it. But other than that, like there's nothing really sore. Like I can't really feel much. Like I can feel, I can feel like pretty much everything. Like it's just, I don't know if, if, if my feeling is from my finger touching it. Like if I feel that my finger is touching it, but I don't know if what my finger is touching it can feel my finger. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so first month, like everything, like swelling, bruising, everything went really, really down. So that was amazing. But yeah, everything feels great. Just wanted to give you all a quick update on how it's all doing. Um, but yeah, so anyways, please like this video if you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna follow in my social medias, they're down below. And I will see you next time. Take care.